Hey everyone, Kiwi King 77 here from the AC Syndicate team here to do an updated review video on the Sinjama 10 Jelly Bean ROM on your HTC Evo 4G LTE. I do have a video showing you how to install this ROM if you want to check that out. I will link to that in the description of the video. Otherwise though, you will see loads on up uh, right away. Obviously stock Jelly Bean Ice Cream Sandwich Launcher. I'm going to first go to Settings, scroll down, go to About Phone, and you will see this build is actually from Sinjama version. It's actually from August 26th which is today's date. It says build date August 25th though, so this is the ROM I am running just so you know. Uh, you will see Android version 4.1.1. You can quickly tap on it. Got a nice hidden Easter egg there. Press and hold. And you got some jelly beans floating around. And you also can quickly tap on Sign Jamad version. And it's the same thing, but with some Sign Jamad uh, mascot heads, Sid. Uh, otherwise though, um, you will see obviously on 4.1.1. First thing I do want to go over is some bugs. Uh, HD video recording does not work. Um, you can actually go to my camera. You will see pressing on the camera button does work, but uh, I believe if I go to video recording, I don't think you can record in HD. Um, I believe uh, you will, it, it's just not in HD, so just kind of keep that in mind. You can't record in HD. I believe you can record though. So you can still record video, it's just not HD video. So you'll see that work fine. I can swipe back, play it if I would like to. And there it is. So you'll see H, uh, video recording does work, it's just not in HD. Uh, another bug with uh, with this, you can't video record the front facing camera. If you even switch to the front facing camera, it's actually just going to lock up the phone. I just tried it and it lo didn't lock up the phone, it locked up the camera application so you got to reboot. So don't even, while in video recording, don't even switch to the front facing camera. But taking pictures works fine. Uh, it, that is a quick bug right there. I'm glad it showed that sometimes switching between camera modes is going to uh, cause the gallery to force close. But you should be able to go right back into it and there we go. So now we can take some pictures. You will see taking a picture worked just fine. Load it on up. Take another picture, you can swipe through again and view your images. So there's another bug within the camera application. So uh, again, it's it's kind of buggy, of course, the camera application is buggy, but still you can basically, you can still video record, you can still take pictures, so no, no huge deal there. Uh, you'll also notice when you first boot up the phone, whether you're rebooting it or first running the ROM, it will say uh, that the phone has stopped working and you have to force close it or just hit OK. Uh, that actually goes away. So just keep hitting OK until that phone uh, message uh, goes away. Uh, you will see, obviously, in Jelly Bean, you have the pinch-in notifications that you can view them. You can swipe them away, of course, as well. Uh, one more bug, actually, is that MMS, picture messaging, sometimes does not want to download incoming. Uh, one uh, little fix that you could try is using Go SMS to download the picture messages. So if you are, are having issues with picture messaging uh, downloading, you can go ahead and try Go SMS and use that to download. Uh, that generally works for those having issues. So go ahead and try that. Otherwise, though, keep that in mind that uh, picture messaging could sometimes download. It sends just fine, but it might have issues uh, downloading. Again, these bugs can be fixed in future updates. You'll have to check the ROM thread to see if they have been updated. I will link to that in the description. But let's go over some other stuff. So uh, pull down the notification bar, you will see uh, you do have some quick panel toggles there. You'll see it's a sprint at the bottom, very cool uh, notification panel. Obviously the stock jelly bean with the added quick panel uh, options. You have the time and the date right there. Um, you can go ahead and go back into settings. You have a bunch of different settings. You have some launcher settings where you can change the, uh, the grid size, the amount of home screens, default screen if you want the search bar there or not. You can change that or size any widget. Uh, you, so you have a bunch of options there. You have drawer settings as well um, and general settings where you can have it auto rotate the home screen if you'd like to. So if you are on the home screen, you can actually have it auto rotate there. So that's kind of neat. Uh, also, you can press and hold the home screen. You have some signage mod wallpapers. I kind of wanted to show those off. They're actually pretty cool. So you have some some neat signage mod wallpapers that uh, that the CM team has added in. They're very neat. So definitely be sure to check them out. I do like the city one. Uh, that's pretty cool. But otherwise, you can change that. Say I wanted to set it to that wallpaper, there you go. So uh, there's a new wallpaper that you can set it to. Otherwise, we can go back into settings. There's a bunch more options. Obviously, you have lock screen options. Change the security, change the background, uh, whether you want the battery status there. So you will see I changed it to always on. You will see it says discharging 56%. So I like to have that there. Lock screen wise, obviously you have that Jelly Bean lock screen going to camera, unlock, or Google Now. I'll get to Google Now in a second. 
Um, you can have weather information as well. You can hit display weather um, and it should actually add. It says no data, tap to refresh. You tap on it, it refreshes. Give it some time, it will update eventually. You also have slider shortcuts. So you'll see you can add two custom shortcuts here. So if I wanted to add one, I can select that, hit applications, and let's say I wanted the messaging application to be there, just hit okay, and then it gets added. So you'll see I can hit save, just lock screen shortcut save. Now when I go to my lock screen, I should see a messaging shortcut there, which I do. So quickly goes into that messaging application, of course. Text messaging works, calls work. Uh, the only issue with it was incoming picture messaging. So if I wanted to send Google a text, 466453, I can say, hey, you do have the Jelly Bean keyboard where it does have some word prediction, so you'll see, hey, there, or you can obviously choose a different word as well. So you send it, hey, uh, it should send just fine. I, I actually tested it earlier and it will send. Uh, otherwise though, back to these options, of course you got your slider shortcuts. Um, now you also have some themes. Uh, you can actually just go to the Play Store and type in CM10 and it will come up with a bunch of different themes. You'll definitely have to check those out and hit apply there. It changes the whole theme of the ROM. That's actually very cool. You also have system settings where you have status bar settings. You can have it not show the clock, AM, PM style, battery status style, so you can have icon or percentage with an icon up there. So it kind of gives you a quick percentage of an icon, or you can go back, to, or you can hide it as well, show notification count. You also have notification drawer settings. This is where you can change those options up at the top. You will also see, I just got a text message response from Google, so obviously the text message did send. You will see with the text message, you have an option to call, and it also gives you a preview of the message. You can tap on it, go straight into it. Obviously, you can keep expanding your messages or contracting them as well. So very cool there. Otherwise, though, uh, you can change your widget buttons, which ones are shown. You will see you can uncheck and check certain ones, whether I want certain ones to show. Let's say I wanted to have toggle brightness on there, toggle airplane mode on there. You'll see I pull it down. Both brightness and airplane mode are on there. You can see you can scroll through them. You also have a torch one, which turns on the LED light, of course. So obviously you can change that. You can also change the order of them if you'd like to. Let's say you want airplane mode up at the top. You can change that as well. So very cool there. Uh, you can have closed drawer, drawer on change, hide scroll bar, and haptic feedback options as well. So those are some nice notification drawer settings. Change for wallpaper, font size, power menu, which is when you press and hold the power button, you can have it hit or have a reboot menu, screenshot and profile switcher. So if you wanted to press and hold the power button, you'll see you can take a screenshot there, or you can press and hold volume down and power. So if you wanted to take a quick screenshot, volume down and power, it will take a screenshot for you, so keep that in mind. Or you can just use the power menu screenshot option if you like that as well. Hardware keys, uh, you can enable some custom custom actions down here. You also notice that the capacitive buttons have been remapped. You've got back home, and the recent running apps button is now a menu button, so you will see it brings up the menu of whatever application you are in. If you do want to get to recent running apps, you have to press and hold the home button, and you will see it shows that there. Uh, which is very smooth actually. So if I wanna, you'll see you got that nice dialer, uh, press and hold the home button. Again, you can swipe away certain applications, ones you don't wanna run, or you can press it and go straight back into it, press and hold the home button. Let's say I wanna go back into messaging, loads on, me loads messaging back on up. So you'll see the text message did send as I told you it would. Uh, but yeah, so that those are some of the other cool options within this ROM. You do have the stock Jelly Bean browser, which is very smooth. Let's say I wanted to go to acsyndicate.net, I'm actually on 3G at the moment, so kind of keep that in mind. It will load it on up, it is very smooth. I know I tried it out myself. There you go, so very cool there. Another cool thing is, of course, I took that screenshot. You will see it gives a quick preview of the image, of course, which is a very cool jelly bean feature that it's got that quick preview of the image. Otherwise though, let's go ahead and check out Google now so I can go to the Google search bar or on my lock screen, I can press and hold and go up. It should load up Google Now, which of course everyone does love. So there we go, load up Google Now. It should give some cards, whether it be weather, traffic information, uh, score of a, a game. It kind of, basically the cards that show up, base it on your previous Google searches. So that's kind of why it does that. All right, so let's go ahead and ask a question. What's the weather like in Phoenix, Arizona? Phoenix. 
Okay, so there we go, 91 degrees in Phoenix, Arizona, and partly cloudy. Uh, very cool. Loads it on up. You can also say something, let's say, what is the tallest building in the world? I don't know if it's going to answer that or not. I guess not. So you could say something like, how tall is the Willis Tower? Willis Tower is 1,729 feet tall. There you go. So it loads that on up very nice. Um, I do have a video talking about other cool things you can ask Google now, so I can link to that for you guys. I, mean, I don't want to go over too too many things with Google now, but as you can see, Google now works uh, flawlessly, working great. But yeah, other than those few bugs I mentioned earlier, this could definitely potentially be a daily driver. GPS should work just fine. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much everything I wanted to go over. Everything feels very smooth. You do have Google Wallet, you have visual voicemail as well. Those are two key things that a lot of people always ask about. It is pre-rooted with Super User. You have the Apollo Music application from CM, of course. You got albums, artists, recent songs, all that good stuff. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, you'll definitely have to let me know what you think. Be sure to leave a comment. Be sure to subscribe as well. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Google+. All links will be in the description of the video below. And as always, thanks for watching. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up.